Best You'd expect to a, a reaction from from the weekend against Brentford. I was at that game, bro. They literally ate 31 shots and whatever Lee Van shot, shot quality, they could have conceded six against Brentford. And to come out the way they have in this game, again, lackluster and just kind of like. I think that's been the problem at United the whole season, though, isn't it? It's, 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 a, matter it's, a, it's, a, it's a matter of. This is a problem even before. When you concede yeah, yeah. goals the way you play, no matter what. The thing is, it I doesn't I seem to be that what Leah said. gusto I've about said, it. I've, I've even said what Leah says is, is correct. I, I, I don't think his criticism is wrong. I just feel like at this stage of the season where you know this is this is what we've been all season. I don't know why you act surprised. No, but this kind of stuff that I'm describing like isn't change. tactical, yeah. bro. You know what I'm trying to say this kind of my thing. This kind of stuff isn't tactical, though, bro, what I'm saying. In terms yeah. of being able to motivate your squad and make sure that they come in ready, prepared from minute one to, to compete for a football match. That's nothing to do with ca uh, tactical, bro. That's what you're saying in the dressing room. That's how you prepare your team throughout the for week. For me, I, I'll be real with you. I don't even think that a lot of the time should be on a manager. That, the, that's the that, bare that, minimum that's, you that's, require from players. And especially in a game of this magnitude, I expect my players that my team and, talk and, should be and, at a bare minimum. No, but, no, but you should no, be- I'm even talking about yeah. throughout yeah. the week. Point, going off his point about that, uh, the whole terms of motivation and that, if you as a player are not motivated by just simply playing for Manchester United, you shouldn't be at the club. It's facts, true. And that's something that I will put on the players. I would never put that on the manager. Why would I put that part of it on the manager? I'm not even talking about just motivation. I'm talking about making sure that they're fresh and making sure that they're that they're pressing from the front and making sure that from the first minute they're competing. That's that's a, that's in terms of getting your team. No, but I'm saying in terms of what you're saying. So there's two sides of it. If you if you want to talk about it from a tactical approach, no, no, for me it's not tactical and, whatsoever. I get, I get what you're saying, but you're saying in terms of like a, a personnel, in terms of like motivation. And hey man, you don't you don't think a manager in terms of how he inspires his team has what you think players they should just be from, it's an ideal way oh. of looking at it but if you don't think a manager from an inspiration point of view has a job to, to also send his team ready to fire of course, of course he does bro of course okay but that, there's only so much a manager can do at a point Fair. Based down to of the course players. I agree I and, agree and, and this is not something that's that what you're that point you're making it's not something that's started with just Ten Hag that was even before Ten Hag even arrived that was an issue we said these yeah no agreed, agreed agreed so agreed. That's, that's and a lot of those players have been there well, since, which is why for me if you if you notice so me, I never defend the players. Say it's the players instead of the manager. I'm saying, but, this, this, but this Liban, me, I've, me, I've been. I, if you, if, this I, what we United players have I defended this year? I no. think Bar may knew, and I like yeah. Garnacho as a, uh, as a young player. Yeah. almost none of them, to be honest. So I, I completely agree with you. United yeah. needs a major squad overhaul. Yeah, hundred percent. But my whole thing too is, as a manager, get it. Like for me, I know they're not good players, but, but at least I've but, seen I've seen bad players down the league still come out for games no, against but, Chelsea, okay. especially. No, but ready I, to fire. Okay, but okay, I'm not saying what you're saying is wrong. I agree with that, but I'm saying to you how can you put that on the manager when you've seen that same pattern of behavior with previous managers interim managers you've seen that same attitude that same behavior because, that's because I saw last and season it's the same group of players it's not like a different group of players it's the same group of no, players no 100% but it's also so, it's also the same manager last season who was able to get a, a, a tune out of them yeah exactly so then so, so then, then you know they, they, no, they but, 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 hold on Liban we, we credited him as well yeah. also for getting a tune out of them that, yeah. that way so at the same time I'm also looking at him when things don't go well yeah. and these players do look flat yeah it's your job as, as a manager to motivate them, bro. Of course. That, that, so, so for me, just as you can benefit, uh, you can uh, prop someone up for yeah. that. I'm also gonna look at him when when shit goes. Uh, no, but I'm saying though, when things don't go well and they decide, to, and you can see that sort of pattern of behavior, yeah, and they and it's happened in pre previous managers. Do you not start to think, yo, maybe it's these lot? So maybe do you think? Do you think? Ten, do you think? Ten, like, no, so a bit like going with the wind uh, when uh, you feel like. Uh, of course, but so then, Liban, you're saying then, Liban, Liban, then do you think then? Oh. Do you oh, think Ten Hag has lost the dressing room then? Hmm? Is that what you're I saying? I don't think then? he's lost his dressing room. Then why aren't these players, hold on, that, that for me, that goes yeah. against what you're saying yeah. then. No, I'm saying it's, with these guys, they, a lot of them don't have the, the mentality to play for this club, I feel like. I feel like, especially when there's a lot of adversity with when it comes to even just like a couple of, run of bad front of form, or even just like you said, starting the game well, a lot of these guys, it's almost like they play as if they're doing my United a favor. And that's an attitude that they carry for years. You've seen it with the, I'm not, you know, I won't even name drop players because I don't even want to start doing that. But you know, there's players at this club that have been here for a number of right. years, and we treat them like they're the oh. most like yeah. they're players that aren't, aren't aren't touchable. You get me? Like they 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 it, it almost oh. feels like right. Mudrick, Mudrick. When, when you criticize those players, Mudrick and Jackson ooh, have been ooh. feasting. I can't lie. When when you criticize the players, those players, those same players, yeah, people get upset. Yeah. People start to lose their heads. Oh, no, no, no. How can you? Do you know what I'm trying to say to you? There's a large portion of, fan, of the well, fan base fan that base do that. Is like that. No, no, going back to that conversation we was having about the, the mentality, you just made a good point with Ganacho. You see it from him from minute one that he's got the right attitude, the right mentality, mm -hmm. and you see that he really wants to put in yeah. like 100% oh. every time he steps on the pitch. Dalo is another one. Yeah. Kobe Mindy yeah. was just coming yeah, to the team. True, and, it's true. That's what I'm saying to you. That it, it starts with, for me, a lot of that stuff is, is down to the players. And a lot of the players, like I said, they're too comfortable at this club. 
and they feel like oh, they, 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 they almost behave as a great link up play. Hey, Bruno and Man United are favored by playing for them. And that will never change with any manager. You know what I'm saying? Like you could yeah. put anyone, you could put Guardiola in on as on, and, and his whole coaching stuff on that bench. And, you say, and, you and, say that, Lee Ben, but Guardiola last year felt that there was a lack of uh, motivation in his squad last year. He said the same yeah. thing. He sold Jao Cancelo. Yeah. He brought Rico Lewis into the yeah. team. He started bringing in guys like Nathan Ake. But more he already in. built a culture. That's why it's no, easy, 100%, it's easy but, to clear but, out the ones and look, that are not following. And, and, you know and, I mean? and look, I'm not, I'm not going yeah. to try and single out a player, but yeah. a lot of people, and this is where I have to give credit to Ten Hag. In my opinion, I know people yeah. are going to disagree, but a lot of people have questioned Rashford's commitment to Man United yeah. this season throughout many parts of the, of yeah. the year, whether it's his work rate during games, yeah, yeah, whether yeah. it's this or that. And to be fair, before today, he was still playing him most games, bro. So Chelsea on the attack. As well. He's been playing well Cole recently. Palmer. Oh, what a ah. ball. He said, question to Leeds. If you don't know what manager you want to replace Ten Hag with, why do you want Ten Hag out? I, I, you've, hold on. You asked me, I think earlier in the season, who I'd like to see him replaced with. Uh, Lieben asked me last the other day, like, who would you ideally like to replace him? I gave him a candidate. Mm. Who did you say? I said, for me, I, I would bring in Nagelsmann. I think Nagelsmann's a better coach than, than Ten Hag. Oh, you said I that like I like Julian Nagelsmann. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, Nah, he's not the only guy I would take. I think there's, yeah. some, I think there's, a, there's a lot of good managers on the market mm. right now. But um, I just feel like a lot of these managers, I'm not that down in their quality. I just feel like, how would they thrive under the? Well, same you have a, you have a new you have a new yeah. ownership now. So I, yeah, nah, under the new. So, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm I could not, hear not your manager. argument before, but That's now that saying, we have a new last, ownership, I'm saying, yeah. the, no, I'm the last yeah. two seasons, though, this season and last season, I'll say how many managers really and truly would have thrived under these circumstances or these conditions at United. I, I never say thrive though. For me, I think there's managers that would do better than Tanag did. Really? Because I saw literally him do it better last year. Yeah, but I think even like I think there's year, a middle there's a mi- there's a middle ground. Like I'm yeah. not asking Ten Hag to, to challenge for the. I didn't even said at the beginning of the season. You know, I didn't I didn't expect anything crazy. I just want to see improvements on the style of play, and I think it got worse. Yeah, I think when it comes to style of play, you you, you I don't think you can no one can argue with anything you have to say. But I think in terms of like where we are as a club in comparison to the amount of rubbish that's going on. In on the pitch, off the pitch, you got the situation with the whole ownership thing that dragged over for eighteen months. You got player issues, egos. But my, that was like, all. That was all a problem twelve months ago, and clearly no, no, didn't affect the no, team. I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Like I'm saying, the last two years. So it's the, the, I mean, yeah, but the last year there wasn't. There was no problems. We were we were all happy with where we were as United fans. That's no, the whole thing. No, no. But I'm saying even during those periods, though, before we went on, obviously went on to win the cup and all of that. You had the issue with Ronaldo. You had the issue with. This season with Sancho, you had and he removed all. That's my point. He re- he removed all and those I'm issues. Saying, I'm yeah. saying, but I'm saying, having to deal with all of those noise because especially with the Ronaldo, I think that one was heavy. But but he dealt but he dealt with cup. Ronaldo and then six months la- two months later we won a cup and then six months later no, we finished what, third. What, so my point that kind of stuff that yeah. doesn't that doesn't really no, come into the that's, equation that's here. The, that's what, uh, that's the point I'm trying to make. I'm saying he's had to deal with that and yet still be able to get on with his job, still be able to get something. We have a mint. You said you bring in Nagelsmann after Ten Hag. Lee is literally doubted how well Ten Hag would do after not having a good pred, uh, pedigree as early as he's Hold on, hold on, hold on. But he's prepared uh, to repeat the cycle. Hold on, hold on. I, I, I didn't, what, what did he say? Yeah, I he didn't doubt, you didn't doubt. Um, I didn't Ten doubt Ten Hag. I was yeah. one of Ten Hag's, big, I, I was probably the loudest United fan in terms yeah. of wanting to bring Ten Hag. You, you like, said what? you doubted how well Ten Hag would do after not having a good pedigree. No, that's not true at that's all. Not true, that's, that's not, not true. true at all. That literally just made that up. That's I literally, not true. I literally true. called him the prestige, bro. I literally nah. love the appointment. Yeah. <laughs> so just making up lies, guys, man. Stop lying, oh my god. Crazy, name, what, <laughs> brother? If it wasn't ten years of United letting me down, I would be just as deluded as Lee Ban was. At one point, I was, I was like, why that, is it bro? deluded how, to believe your team? Why is it deluded? Why oh, is it deluded this guy, to believe? He called you deluded. He called, he, he called you deluded. He used the word deluded. Man, them want a change of manager. Don't know what manager they want. I told you what manager. Listen, they okay. Now you want Nigel. No, it's not. Yeah, Bigger than you never said that. Look up on my dad. Nah, you you yeah. didn't say that. Bigger than you didn't say that. Bro, 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 hey, bro, 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 hey, bro, bro, hey, did you say it now, this man? Did you say it now, this man? A football Twitter troll. Let me not say, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you not say you deal with United? Listen, 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 list
It wasn't no, a change, right? I, I, back then in September, you remember I was still saying I wouldn't sack Ten Hag yet. I yeah. didn't say that until like January. Okay, but even time. but even when I asked you on Twitter, I think it was like November or December. I can't remember. It that's was. still I, not I, when I decided I want him. Okay, out. that's fine. Now you yeah. want him. Listen, now it's clear that and you want that. Now I told you. But I'm saying back him. when everyone was still saying you're getting rid of this guy, no one really knew who they wanted. They yeah. just wanted to get rid of him. My point is, if you want to get rid of someone for the sake, well, of I, change, I told you. So I, why are you? What is the solution? No one. No one was giving me the solution. I remember early on, you kept asking, "What's the solution? Who comes next?" No one. No one could tell me. Okay. Now he knows who he wants, that's fair. He's told me now who he wants, but I'm saying before when I was asking those same questions, back in December, November, no one was giving me answers. Is that fair to Ooh, say? Ooh, right, that that fair? I just don't Palmer. know why you're bringing that up right now. No, I'm just saying, is that not fair to no, say? But it's though? just like, it's a random no, point to bring up. No, because you're saying that I'm deluded for, for He for called you that. deluded, I didn't call you okay, deluded. fair enough, I thought you was calling you deluded to be and fair. He, and he didn't call you deluded for that. He, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, he's just <laughs> arguing, bro. <laughs>